when I checkmate my opponent, but you only hear the check sound. Um, <laughs> oh man, um, that is uh, a <laughs> when I checkmate my, my opponent, but you only hear the check sound. It's a good one. I like it. It's a good one. Good, good one to start with. Just legendary. That feel when you when your opponent loses the game after rejecting your draw offer. So this is actually a really funny story. Um, I don't think I have my watch here, but there's a great story to this um, to this whole picture. In fact, so this is, we're not going to do photo guess or anything of that nature. Um, but I'll I'll give you guys this picture. So this picture was taken um during a tournament in uh, in Gibraltar many years ago, and I remember that in that on this day the picture was taken, I played a game against Chris Ward. Now, the great part about the story here is that in the morning, my stepfather and I, we went into the, the town. It's um, it's about 15, 20 minute bus ride away from, from where the hotel was. And we went into the city and um, and we went to a shop and my stepdad actually bought me a watch. He bought me a, a Rado watch or Rado Rado. I don't know how you pronounce it. The Swiss brand R-A-D-O. And he bought me a watch. I think we were actually very late getting back. No, it was not a Rolex, you guys. I, I, I mean, my parents aren't rich. I'm not rich. So, no, I couldn't, I couldn't afford a Rolex. Um, so, so basically, what happened is, is that we were really late. And I think, um, I think we had to catch the bus back. And the round was at like 2 or 3 p.m. And it was like 1.30 or something when we headed back. And, and so, basically, I had to get back and, and play my game straight away. And I think that's why I'm wearing this ridiculous black and white windbreaker that I had. Um, it, was a it had like a champion on the back. And it was something that I wore a lot from probably about like... 12 to about 16 years old um and of course i had these uh these ray are these the ray-ban sunglasses they are these they should not be confused with matrix sunglasses because i remember um when they had the u.s open in um or not the matrix what am i thinking of what is that wild west movie with will west or uh, with will smith you guys what is that wild west movie um i'm trying to figure out what it was what what is it what is that wild west movie it was wild wild west right so so yeah it was wild wild west exactly it was this movie right it was this one this one wild wild west anyway the point i was going to make you guys is that um is that in terms of this picture i actually during the u.s open in reno it was in uh i believe reno nevada in 1999 if i'm not mistaken um i think burger king they had some kind of promotion if i'm not mistaken where um where if you got like one of their meals, you could get these sunglasses that like Kevin Klein and Will Smith wore in the movie. But these sunglasses are different. These are just classic Ray-Ban. So it's not the sunglasses I'm thinking about. Anyway, um, that feel when your opponent loses the game after rejecting your draw offer, it's, it's pretty good. Um, so there's a time that you could wear, um, you could wear sunglasses during games. There's a famous picture of Timur Rajbov actually. Let me see if I can pull that up. Um, uh, one second, let me Google it of him wearing wearing sunglasses before one of his games let me see if i can find it um uh let's see let's see is it in here yeah there's this picture so i'm gonna i'm gonna open this picture uh where is it where is it one second wait what open image a new tab there we go all right, so I'm just going to show you guys. Here's a picture also. I know it's I know it's very small, but there's also this picture of Timur Rajabov as well from uh, Libya in the World Cup in 2004, and he's also wearing um also wearing sunglasses as well. So so yeah, there there's this picture um uh as well. So there we go. Uh copycat? Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying there was a time when every, everybody would wear it, would, would would do do the um do the easy. I think that's the emote if I'm not mistaken. So anyway, just thought I would show that to you guys. Okay, let's move on. So next up, let's keep going. Okay. Hikaru, juicer, 1,000 rated player. <laughs> okay, this is good. This is good. Okay, this is this is good. I'm not gonna lie. This is pretty pretty solid. Um nothing nothing bad I can say about this one. This uh it, this is really good. Big shout out to whoever whoever came up with this one. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Some great YouTube content. A cheater exists. Levy, I can milk you. Yeah, you know I'm. I, you know I am gonna say one thing. Like in general, like I actually I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a huge fan of this notion of trying to like find people who cheat online. Like I get that it happens, but sort of like it, to me it feels like Levy has very slightly overdone it a little bit. Because it, it's like it's amusing at first, but to keep trying to do it, it, it does bother me a little bit. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Um, 
But anyway, uh, it's I, I still I still get the point um, of this. Let's keep going. Okay, Hikaru making some serious moves. What's this? What's this? <laughs> oh man. Oh man. So bad. All right, let's keep going. And then I get mated in four. Game begins. Me moves pawn to e4. Chess.com. Straight from the book. Couldn't have done it better myself. Perfect. Outstanding move. Nice. Okay, what else? Chat, I don't get it. What's a joke? Oh, because the bishop and pawn. Oh, nice, nice. Moving on. Right, right. This is, of course, a, a good one, too. I've seen this one before, obviously. So let's keep going. Me after, me after analyzing the board for 10 minutes straight. What is this from, by the way, you guys? What what is this from? This is like this is a Wallace and Gromit animator, right? But what what is this from? Sean the Sheep. Okay, but this was done by the same people who did Wallace and Gromit, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was, it was the same people who did. Because I was gonna say it looks awfully the whole like the the whole layout looks very similar. Okay. The not 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 as good cheesy pickup lines number two to nine. A girl, you make my rook lift. Okay, <laughs> the not as good chessy pickup lines. Oh man. A <laughs> girl, you make me, you, you make my rook lift. Okay, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I think you're supposed to do that with a British accent, and I can't, I can't do it with a British accent. Anyway, oh, there are more pictures. Oh no, oh no, there's more to it. Okay, so let's let's start. Over. All right, let's let we're gonna do the um we're gonna do. I assume there are nine lines, so let's 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 do a reading of the nine lines. Number one. Hey girl, you make my rook lift. I got some D for you. A, a bishop's pair ain't bad, but you'll like my pair even better. <laughs> the English opening is nice, but I prefer your, your, okay, something opening. All right, let's keep going. Hey, you like what? Knights, bishops, rooks, king, queen, rooks. Um, okay. I've got a piece hanging. You might want to grab. <laughs> oh my God. That's bad. Um, is your lipstick an engine? Because your face looks too good to be true. Now that one is actually kind of mean because this is actually a, there's actually a story behind the lipstick as an engine, which is kind of bad. I mean, there, this, the, I, it's funny, but it's kind of bad because it, it, in a way it inadvertently, um, there was this ridiculous accusation many years ago where someone accused Anna of, of like, they basically accused her of having an engine, like a chess program inside of her lipstick when she was playing a game, which is probably the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Um, but it's all good. I missed two. No, I, I, I didn't miss two. Did I? Oh, sup girl. Can, can I enter? Okay. Very funny. Yeah. All right. Anyway, let's keep going. Good stuff though. I like it. Okay. Sees a hanging queen and takes it. Gets mated in one. Okay. This is actually, man, this is old school me. This is a, uh, this is a uh, really, really old school. Um, I remember I'm, I, this is like back when I was, uh, oh, I'm not allowed to say what for, but we're coming up with a big event, you guys. And you see this trophy here, this uh, king in the background, this king, um, we're probably going to have something very similar to this as a prize for an upco upcoming, um, very major, uh, chess event. I'm not going to talk about it right now. We're finalizing some of the field we're working on. We're working on it very seriously behind the scenes, but the prize will be something very similar to this trophy. Um, so I do want to point that out. It's not going to be PogChamps 4, no. Uh, let's keep going. If chess was made by EA. If chess was made by EA. What is this? Okay, the queen. You unlock the queen for 549. The knight is free. The rook is 149, 50% off. The bishop is free. Level up. Oh, man. That's actually... That's that's not um that's that's not that's that's not crazy. <laughs> that's pretty funny actually. That's good. That one is pretty good. Very original. Great opening trap. I found I, I great opening trap. I found you go down three pawns and a rook, but take an opponent's queen. Okay. Please don't tell me this is the um. Wait, what? What? Okay. 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 What is with the bishop, by the way? Ha, 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 ha. 